get it. <laughs> Go. Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Here, are my lovely white Jenna Lee on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything we've never seen. And today, if you read by the title, it's time to jump into the cockpit for some more Mobile Suit Gundam. I am bloody orphan. <laughs> oh, guys, um. RBG trying to touch my anatomy? Yeah, I'm just trying to examine you. But, um, yeah, guys, um, my girl, Cadelia, she's stepping up. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no longer just Cadelia. It's big Cadelia up in the Cadelia, house. Cadelia, you know Ina, Burn, Stan. Right. Stan. I like that. Yeah, um, she was able to utilize the news anchors who got rejected by fucking Gallahorn in the first place to air out all their dirty business that they've been doing, which means killing all those workers from the union and just doing all these other things that, you know, include trying to kill her. So that was really cool of her to do. And I also like how she called their bluff, too. You're like, you attack us right now. You got the target right on our ass. Go ahead and shoot this if you want to. Everybody watching. Everybody. So, yeah, you know, um, they weren't able to fully succeed in their mission like they thought they was. Not quite like they thought. Right. It's hot in this room a little bit. Well, I mean, it's cold outside. So you, you, know, you, you got, got a do. point there. You got a point. But yeah, do you have anything to add to this? Um, I will say only within the last two episodes did the Cadelia become a likable character for me. I'm pretty sure y'all are uh, familiar with how much I have not liked her in the past episodes. Right. It's like, what are you there for? What are you doing? But now it took her damn uh, Fumi time having to dare for her to, you know, Durr. get it together. And, you know, she had to see a lot of dirt. In order for her to kind of, you know, get her mind right. Now, she's, you know, she's new at finally doing something meaningful. So, she was crying and snotting on the last episode. And uh, Mikazuki had to go ahead and console her. I just love the little girl with the pink jacket on. Because, you know, she just be really trying to be there for Cordelia. Because she really yeah. sees her as a sister wife in her brain. Which is, you know, missing a few screws if she think that. But that's, that's okay. all she knows. She just know how to cook in the ship and be a secondary housewife. To my man. But I mean, Mika. if you go out for her, they, they would all be eating some nasty food because Cadelia can't cook nothing. She can't. So, anyway. She can't even boil water right. But uh, here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into this next episode. It's going to be episode 19 titled The Gravity of Wishes. So, let's do this. They might be trying to look for some Dragon Balls. Now, don't force yourself, Latra. Isn't that too heavy? No, I'm fine. I carried a lot of What happened to zero time. gravity? Exactly. I was like, the gravity in this show makes no sense. Yeah, that to that right? Get used to it. Along with Miss Cudelia, I'm gonna do revolution! Hell yeah. So let's proceed as planned. By the way, Montauk Company, isn't it about time for you to let us know what your real name is? Montauk is fine. I mean, after all, it is my last name. Montauk. Now, good luck in battle. Guten Tag. Boss. Mm, it's like that bitch ass nigga. Hey, what's going on? I wanted you to know, if it wasn't for Tekken, I would never have come this far. Yeah, we know. <laughs> we know. Thank you very much. As we get closer, I'm sure things aren't going to get any easier. But even so, I ask that you take me to Earth. And once we've made it there, I will make everyone happy, no matter what. I promise you that. All right. We'll be counting on you. Start up. It's Commander Carta. By Leo, we allowed you to join us, so try not to get in our way. Make sure you do your part, all right? Oh, well, yeah, of course I will. I... Commander. Oh, by the way, <laughs> do you know what happened to him? Who are you talking about? How can you handle this operation when you're so incredibly slow? McGillis is still out on vacation leave. He's on Earth with his fiance right now. <laughs> on Earth? <laughs> well, why didn't he report that to me? No. Well, why would he think to do that when you're not his direct superior? You have the ball to make fun of the Outer Earth Orbit Regulatory Joint Fleet 2, guys! Yes, I do, because your name is too no, fucking I'm long. To make Listen up! You better get results or you'll be severely punished! The Regulatory Bureau says our fleet is just around for show and nothing more. But soon they'll know our true strength. Then they will never mock us again, for we are the Outer Earth Orbit Regulatory Joint Fleet! We are perseverance and fortitude in this! Second from right, 
Oh, you are blonde. Sorry. Right. Oh, it's like she got all her little boy toys. The maintenance chief worked hard. I see. Looks like this one made it in time too somehow. Soon it'll be the end of those rats. The fuck is that? A ion cannon? Oh, some shoulder-mounted blasters. Way, that woman hasn't changed at all. I thought her promotion to a position like commander of that just-for-show fleet would calm her down a little. Mm -mm. But I guess I was wrong. I was going to flashback. Carta, we have to go back right now, or Father's gonna be angry. Aww. Who cares about the stupid party? You're just a coward, aren't you, diaper boy? I do not wear diapers anymore, but you should, you bedwetter! <laughs> Some told me they were siblings. Oh, wait, is that what that's trying to say? Is there siblings? Oh, no, I thought she was just like invited, but they do have the same hair color. It looks so dirty. Well, hers is more white than purple. Mm. What is it? Shit, my nigga, like, he belong in Digimon or something. And ever since then. Specialist Major? It's nothing. Forget it. Mm. The AF wave of the target ship has been detected. Hmm. All right, let's go, Wine. Yes, sir. To grasp another person's heart and to control their future actions is rather easy. Just unveil their past. By doing so, you limit their choices and make it easy to predict their next move. My man, shoulders like they got broader. Jealousy, mm. hate, mm. disgrace, shame. We are endlessly harassed by days long gone, and our supposedly bright future. Is wasted on cleaning up the mistakes of our foolish past. It's something I know all too well. So, Tekken, did you think that the step you're taking will lead to progress? Because if you truly believe in your heart, got all the Mick Reels. Hey, <laughs> he's violent when he's talking with us. Hold all forces. Prepare to engage. As soon as I turn the audio up, here y'all go. All too easy. Ahead wave increasing. They're closing in. Ah. Wait, Says you're not that great. Are two Ahab wave reactions, man? No way. It can't be. Are they crazy? <laughs> Damn right they is. Ah! Using the ship as a shield. How far, Derek? I'll be careful now. Oh! The brewer's ship won't be able to take much more of this. Then it'll be us next. All right, we better make the move. Not yet. We need to get closer. Come on, we can't let her get down. Don't be stupid. You can't control two ships at once with the Alea Vignana. <laughs> Stop arguing with me. This is my chance. Okay, His I'm balls are gonna shrink me. after this. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Now watch this. You they always start seasoning off, and then it's like, oh, wait a minute, I think that was a little too much. <sighs> Concentrate. Focus your attack! Enemy ships still approaching! For we are the outer earth or the friendly ship chasing! Absolutely, we got him! That's right? exactly what they remind me of. We are the Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie fleet! Wow. Damn. Why oh, was that like a shaft grenade from um, Metal Gear Solid? Like all that debris and stuff messed up their senses. Hit him with that motherfucking Sonya Blade. Oh, so it was shaft. Nice. The LCS has recovered. How annoying. Now reconfirm the target's position. Hurry up! <laughs> there! That little trick gave us all the time. We're gonna need to finish this! Last time. Here we go! Let's do this! Prepare for impact! Ooh! Good shit. <laughs> Oh, I know, right? Rescue signal from flat time one. Orbit negative two. At this rate, it'll fall to Earth. 
after the mobile suit forces launch. Head to their rescue. I'll leave the West to you guys. Get out of there. Eugene, you did it. Can I ask you one thing? He's gonna pass out. Am I cool? D. <laughs> Eugene. Yeah, you finna be dead too, huh? Yeah, big Eugene, baby. Everybody big. You were awesome out there, Eugene. Way to kick ass. Keep up. An attack from where? You know this bitch ass nigga again. These two. You found them. Great work. I've seen how these damn rats do things ever since I was on Mars. I'll end it here once and for all. Here we go with the California Raisin Gundams. Oof. These battles are actually very interesting. I did not think uh, giant space robots fighting would be fun. Oh yeah, they got so much space they can do anything. The fuck? Wow, really? Shit! Crap! They're here again. Lucky hero, can you go? You have to ask. Mm. I have no choice. He doesn't. The suits are fast. There's so many of them! Completely! Oh shit! <laughs> this shit out of here, mofo! Uh huh! What is that? Is that I think that's old girl's crew. I could oh. be wrong though. You guys! Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna say you all would be being a damn gun. It's like the turbine vixens. It's even faster than before. They injected him. What uh, thrusters on that bad boy? A damn gun, Joey. Yeah, well, I prepared something special for you too. Come and get it, Gullah Gullah Island. Nice. Yes. Once we know your patterns, we can counter them. Thanks, Yuki Nojo. You damn filthy space rat! It's over for you, boy. Get the shit off. I've got pride too. Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> that was like a, I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> right, bitch. <laughs> Damn. You know, I'm kind of glad he needs to be going. I'm sick of that dude. Sorry, yeah. Enemy reinforcements. Why? Why'd you help me? You let him come out there. I lost my pride. But you. You gave me the confidence to come back again. Who's that? It's the, the Walkman that you promised to give me? The Blondie's on the Ooh! <laughs> so they moving like they got like a little asteroid huh? shooter formation. Astro blaster. Show out on them, boys. Goddamn Baja Blast Gundams. Yeah, back to back. You can actually keep up with me. Not bad. You kind of remind me of... Oh. You're the chocolate man. Oh, it is McGillis. <laughs> right. You know it's just like Oh, oh why you got that clean sword to go with it? I was like, oh, McGillis being a Gundam. And there he goes. Man, just go ahead and pull back. Oh! Shit! Fuck! Now get his dumb ass out the way. I'm like, don't tell me an NPC is gonna take him out. Fuck your Earth, nigga. Can we do something? No. Got to roll the windows up on his. I'm ready for you to show me everything you're capable of. Your true potential. So this is Earth's gravity. 
Okay. So if I follow you, Orca, I'll see all kinds of new things. Mm. Yeah. So let's go! <laughs> hey, that's right. And I'm ready to see that place. How about you, Barbatos? <laughs> hey. This dude's gonna be fried. This shit. I knew something was gonna happen to the Barbatos. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's like using that to break his fall. Very smart. <laughs> nice. I bet that one dude, hey, he tried it. For real. <laughs> so, this is Earth, huh? It's just showing a white screen, so I guess that's okay. Man, talk about a very good episode, man. A very good episode, a great battle. <laughs> yeah, Mikazuki, he he be killing the game, literally. Right, Captain Carter. She need to leave that title to uh, Peggy Carter from the MCU because she ain't got it like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like she is overcompensating. I'm not sure it's because she's a girl and she's the only one with a vagina on this ship. But girl, calm it down. You know what I'm saying? She got a little nature boys up on the ship with her and stuff, ready to do the do her bidding and probably do her later. I don't know. But that was really good. I like how. A lot of people were able to get involved with this one, you know what I'm saying? Like my man yeah. Eugene, you know what I'm saying? He's like, I gotta prove that I'm cool, man. I'm getting tired of sitting back all the time. Really? I wanna do something too, instead of just yelling at the top of my lungs how I want a girlfriend and shit, you know? So it was cool to see him do that. Yeah, it was a really good episode. Um, I love to see what everybody's doing their part in the, whatever, the International Galactic Earth <laughs> Federation World yeah. Globe Trotters. They suck. We already they knew do. that, but they really suck. We knew it. It's like the more she was waving her arms around and doing all that shit, I was like, this girl is going to probably be ass. <laughs> you know? she, yeah, and uh, they were, as we suspected. Uh, so, I get an episode in S. Yeah, I'm giving it an S too, man. Um, it looks like Orgo was able to come through on his promise, to Mika at least. You know, he got a chance to see different things and now he's going to get a chance to experience the world or experience earth i'm gonna experience the world right so uh let's go ahead and jump into this next episode man this is going to be episode 20 titled brother here we go are we chilling on the beach baby oh look at him they finally made it <laughs> great landing job this rate my legs are gonna rust mm. Oh, he got prosthetic legs. So this is what Earth looks like. What's up with the water here? It's freaking nasty. You're so lame, right? Shut up. They must have not been able to drink that water. No. They said not to move barbecue. It's like ocean water. Hmm. Up there. Looks so beautiful, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta look at a little crunchy. Mmm. So, the thing you were named after, Mikazuki? Mm hmm. Boss. It's gonna be ball headed if somebody come out of nowhere and blow hey. all y'all shit up. Who's that? <laughs> Don't know, but he told me that he wants to talk to you. What? So you're what are you? Nice to finally meet you. Most of his organs aren't functioning. Wow. And necrosis is setting in all over the I told you, you I don't care about that. Just get him back to normal, all right? The only option and I tell you that's not is possible. to utilize some form of cybernetic implant. You can't be serious. That means he'd have to spend the rest of his life as a monster. I don't want that for him either, I assure you. But don't give me your excuses. Just get him back to normal. To someone who can fight again. Someone who can avenge his superiors. He's not that you smart. I see why McGillis does stuff behind his back. Mm. Yes, then McGillis is also a pervert, so I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't think McGillis really care about that girl. So boring. <sighs> well, I guess this is the end of our job, isn't it? I wonder if we'll get a bonus. Mm. Huh? We'll get a welcome home party, and the chicks will be lining up. <laughs> yeah, if we make it back at all. What? Oh, man, no fun. No. <laughs> <laughs> The moron and work, you pierced idiot! I am working! Jeez! The thrusters we added are a bust. Can't get them to work. 
The other parts can be covered by ones we got from the Montauk Company. I used the old thrusters back on Mars, so that's fine. We can help too. Uh -huh. Are you guys finished? Actually, we made sure Rowan could be used Goddamn power, power, power puff girls. Right. Now then, if you don't mind, there's a little setup we want to try on Barbatos. Master Machina sends his best and asks me to deliver this. What is it, Gumbo? What is it? Can I see? It's a fish. Gross. It's all slimy. Oh, they ain't used to shit I see. I guess they... Look at this. I think it's a flounder, you guys. Yeah, it looks delicious. I think it's a soul. What? Is that really something people eat? No way. Yeah, I don't even know where to begin with. All right, thank you. These poor kids. Of course, thank you. But I'm actually thinking about it from a different perspective. I'm like, if I had just came What's to Earth for the first time ever, and I seen somebody say they eat that, if I had I'd be like, you ate what? It looks rocks. like an alien. Yeah. Most people on Earth get disgusted when they see whiskers. Oh, that look good. <gasps> man, eat y'all food, man. There's no way this is food. It's gotta be some sort of sick joke. Look at that thing. It's staring at me. You <laughs> know, <laughs> <laughs> I bet Mika has eaten this shit so up, boy. Thought he was tearing it up at first. Yeah. Come on, bro. What are you doing? You can at least try taking a bite. Mm -hmm. The girls from the tournament helped me make this for you, and it wasn't easy, okay? Oh yeah. Hmm? Just forget. What? I had no idea. It would taste this amazing. You're kidding. Seriously. I can't wait until we get back home. I'm telling everyone. Uh, we are going back to Mars after Miss Cudelia's work is finished, aren't we? I guess they don't like sushi It'll like that either. Boy, look, She'll give me all that. For a long time. Whatever you don't want, I'll eat. Mm. We may not even be able to talk to her anymore. This is great. So delighted you're here. Now, what what was it again? The, the reason you guys came here, I mean. We're here, sir, to discuss the deregulation of Martian half metal by our brand. Uh, yes, of course. It's long overdue. Truth be told, that's something I have always wanted to see realized as well. Mm. Then but we... sadly, uh. that's impossible. Uh. Right now. But, but why? Because I fell from power and I'm currently living in exile. Wow. Well. Huh? You what? <laughs> so. <laughs> In other words, I have absolutely no power over anything. What the hell are you saying? We came all the way to Earth God. just to meet an old fart who can't do anything. Yeah, that's Let's probably why he wanted her to come because he me say he Please. needed her to be his so, Prince Charming or something. Everything that we've been doing was pointless. I'm not saying that. No, quite the opposite. What are you saying? In fact, I think what we have here is a grave misunderstanding. Mm. What do you mean? Do you have a plan for getting back to Mars in one piece? Do you even have a ship that can take you off this planet? Why are you saying this? I don't understand. I told you. The Oceanian Federation is making sure no one will sell you out to Gallerhorn for as long as you're here. However, if the mood struck me, I could change that. What? Volition. Oh my god. Man. Shoot this dude. Shoot him. <laughs> Shoot <laughs> him. not. Well, anyway. Take your time to think it over. I do hope you make the right choice. Dead men tell no tales and they can't no tell you what to do either. Way to take it well, what now? It's all up to me. Everyone, you don't have to worry about me anymore. You can each follow your own. Ah, oh, breath of fresh air, thank you. But we know that's not oh, how this yeah. is going to go down. Exactly. So this dude is kind of dirty. Alive, huh? The Jinx is still alive. Ken and Dante are all right too. Oh man, you really are tough. You know it. The Oceanian Federation decided to harbor us for a while. The Turbans too. Next time, try calling us sooner. Are you kidding me? You don't know what we had to go through. By the way, Naze wanted to know what was happening down there. All right. Tell brother I want to talk to him about something. I just love how he's just committed to calling me. Toy by and his brother. Mm -hmm. Toy bro. Thinking of taking on Machina's request. Even if doing that could possibly endanger the lives of your family? Either way, we can't go back to Mars like this. 
Suppose we did go back there. We might get a little fame, be able to find work for a while. Mm. That isn't gonna last too long. Yeah, nothing really happens on Mars. And I want for us to become something much bigger. Let's go back. We did all we set out to do. I think it's time for us to head home. Oh no, this is why if we travel lightly and leave everything here. You probably want to see him. Can't do that. If we only do small jobs on Mars, we just go back to being nothing but punk ass kids again. We'll get taken advantage of like before. We have to rise above all that. Steal from them if just stop it. Because we've done more than enough as it is. Please, you're not thinking about the rest of us. There must be a way to go back to Mars without having to endanger everybody's lives. I don't think about my friends. Is that what you're saying? That's not what I mean. I'm asking you not to purposely take a dangerous path, Orga. It's totally reckless. I thought long and hard about this. It might be tough, but I know it's what's best for our future. Mm -hmm. We get ourselves into this and somebody dies along the way. Because then there won't be a future. Not for them. I've decided. We have to move forward. Listen to me. If you do, I'll... You what? What you gonna do? Damn. I'll quit, Tekadin. Biscuit! <sighs> yeah, he must have told him something. Yeah. Right it was forwarded to us from the Dord colonies. It's... It's from your older brother. Wow. Wait, Saverin? I had no idea Biscuit felt that way at all. Is that what this is about? I didn't think he'd take it that far. It might have to do with what Eugene told him. Yeah. About what happened to his older brother. What I tried to do was for the benefit of my fellow Union members and everyone else. I acted on the belief it would succeed, but things didn't go as planned, and the result was unspeakable. Maybe Mr. Navona and I carried a burden that was beyond us and pushed ourselves too hard. We could have left the colonies and found simpler lives somewhere else. But once we got caught up in everything, it was impossible to get away. And I admit, I didn't know what else to do. I don't ever want you to be swayed by others, so find your own path in life and never look back. Cherish the ones who are close to you. I pray that you have a happy and fulfilling life. Damn. Brother. So that's what it was. Hey, Biscuit. <sighs> hey. So this is brother. Come here, school, sir. It looked like his feet was dangling. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So yeah. Ready for lap really his plan ready. failed. <laughs> He betrayed his brother. What's he doing? Mm, yeah. Well, Orga and I got into an argument. I can only go forward from here. Come time. Please lend me your strength. Sorry. Hope I'm not bothering you, but I figured you hadn't eaten in a while. I was preparing it earlier, but you had to go. Wait, is that a fish? That looks really You've good. Had before? Yes. It's my father's favorite. Now you don't have to eat it if you don't like it. <laughs> no, I'll have some. I'm really gonna need to keep my strength up. There you go, girl. Get that protein in. Still got plenty of these. Hey! You serious about Where's this? Where's boyfriend? You really want For real. To well, Org is only thinking about moving ahead. That's not anything new. It was its life head on. That's true. And if it weren't for him, we never would have come this far. You think? Then again, maybe it was only blind luck that got us where we are now. Who knows how long we're going to be able to keep this going. It just seems like everyone would be a lot safer if we took a calmer path. You may be right. Yeah? But then again, it's hard to say, isn't it? Nobody knows what the future's got in store. I'm sure even Orga shakes in his boots when he takes a big step forward. Mm. Make no mistake, it's a hell of a lot more than luck that got Tekken to where it is now. It was Orga, and it was all of our friends, <laughs> and it was you, too. 
I wonder what OG be really thinking. You know, he the oldest one there. He following these kids. He just glad to work on some machines. Yes, so. Whatever happened, no matter what reckless thing I did, this could always roll with whatever I chose. I never saw this coming. Always thought that he'd have my back. I counted on that. Who knows? Maybe I am rushing things. What's so funny? I'm sorry. I guess I just never realized how much you relied on him. He must have always been there to support you in all the decisions you made. Am I right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Boss! There's a call from Mr. Mock and I. I don't know what's up, but he told me it's pretty urgent. Really? What is it? I can't wait one night. It's not that. We just heard from Gallerhorn. They've advised us to hand over Kudelia and take it in immediately. Damn it! That's not <laughs> what you told us before! Well, there are people in Gallerhorn with some rather unique commanding rights. Mm -hmm. Even the Oceanian Federation can't hold them off. I want to name Mach and I. Their commander is... You Carter? will not escape. Of course! Not this time, for I, Carter Issue, will stop you! Oh my god, this bitch. Something told me she was going to try to get that clap back, man. But it is what Carter, it is. She failed miserably. Right, right, man. But hey, guys, that was episode 20. Um, They got their work cut out for me because you already had this crooked dude mocking I. Made it sound like everything was going to be all good. You know, they're going to be protected and stuff like that. But really, he as just. As long as you're here, nothing can happen. Right. But I need you in order for me to get that prime minister spot back. You know, I'm just trying to get back up there. Yeah, you know, I've been stuck on this island. I've been banded on here. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't like how they did that, man. It's like no, but it's just you know, for this the storyline, you know. Yeah, it's like they had they had them boys thinking they was going to greener pastures and stuff. They don't even want to do nothing over here. It's like it's boring to them. The water nasty. They ain't used to ocean water and fish and shit. Well, that would be a lovely vacation for for somebody that's been on Earth. Like, you mean I get to go to the beach and eat fish? Right. Gourmet meals? Are you kidding me? I'll take two, please. But, you know, they're not from there, so. Yeah, they'd rather eat fucking junk food than little snacks and shit they was having one time. Well, whatever. Old girl be cooking on Mars. Be tasting pretty good to him, so. Well, she cooked some for him this time, but they didn't want to touch it, so. Yeah. It is. I, I do like how they do that. Though. I like that attention to detail. Like boys will be boys. You know they're gonna be picky and shit, especially mm -hmm. those type of boys. So that's cool. I also like this little conflict going on with um Biscuit and Orga. You know, like I had a feeling that he was gonna be feeling some type of way after that big fallout with his brother and stuff like that. And now to get that revelation that his brother ended up unaliving himself. himself. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty sad, but. I, I, anybody who has feels like they have to do that, I feel bad for. But bruh, like you caused that, right? So, eh. but this was a good episode. Um, I'll give this episode an A. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an A plus. Like I like how there are, there continue to be like inner conflicts, you know, especially. Orga always having that pressure, you know, it's like he has to decide if he wants to go full speed ahead and try to change things up because like he, like he said, there's nothing back on Mars, you know, they'll just be reduced to just being those kids, but everybody gets homesick, you know? Yeah, you got a point. Some people got families there, so you got to do, but I get both of their points. He's like, I don't want to, I don't want anything else to happen to my family. I don't want anything to happen to me that would affect my family. And then Orga's like, well, I mean, we got to we got stuff to do yeah but uh anyways guys it's gonna do it for us today um we hope you enjoyed this reaction because as always we have a blast reacting to these things with you and for you if there's anything we may have missed or got misconstrued by all means provide the proper context in the comment section below without spoiling us and i promise we will get back to you but once again this is your boy rbg aka the random black gamer here with my girl johnny lee on the yawns and twos and this is we into the reactions we'll catch you guys on the next reaction to mobile suit gundam iron-blooded orphan Peace.